Hi everyone, I'm Lynette Dolan from sunscience.org and today we are going to talk about what the throat chakra is. Let's understand and balance the throat chakra based on discussions from the experts on sunscience.org. Perhaps the most unassuming chakra, the throat chakra, is also the chakra that many people focus the least on. Here's what it is, why you should focus on it, and how you can make it work to your advantage. To know more, subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Please like and share this video with your friends and share your comments and experiences. Check out and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Visit our website, sunsigns.org, for more info and related articles and videos in the description below. Have you ever met someone whose intelligence is astounding or whose performance in a uh, skill is phenomenal and yet they seem to be cut off from others solely because they can't find the best channels of communication? This is a prime example of a misaligned or even completely closed throat chakra or vishuddha. The throat chakra governs communication and speech and also governs the sense of truth and lies. While other chakras govern creativity and inspiration and the like, the throat chakra governs the expression of that creativity. People like the poet Emily Dickens were phenomenal in their creativity, having a strong third eye chakra, but hid all their work from others until their deaths. Now, let's take a look at SunSigns.org's throat chakra meditation technique. So, What's the secret to opening this chakra? Well, as it's located in the center of the throat, just below the Adam's apple for men and an inch or two above the clavicular line for women, the best way to open it is to use your voice. Here's one possible meditation. Here's one possible meditation. In a single octave, there are 12 tones, counting the sharps and flats in the chromatic scale. Each note has a specific resonance and vibrates through a person's being in a very specific way. While he may not have known it, Igor Stravinsky was creating a perfect throat chakra meditation when he wrote the famous 12-tone composition, The Owl and the Pussycat, which uses a set of rules that utilizes all 12 tones in a row. If you have a piano, sit in front of it. The sense of sight here is only necessary to identify piano keys, so make the room dark and cool. A couple of candles should provide you enough light to see by. Mark off one octave of notes on the keyboard with some tape or string. To get a sense of the notes, play each note in the scale in order not skipping the black keys. That's your meditation. Let your eyes relax and play one of the notes. Let it ring out and match your voice to that note until the piano's sound fades out completely. Then choose a different note and do the same thing. Go through each of the 12 notes in whatever order you feel like, letting your voice rise and fall like the way the piano notes do. Before you know it, your voice will be resonating exactly on the notes, regardless of your singing ability. Repeat the 12 notes in any order as many times as you feel is necessary until your throat begins to get dry. Stop the meditation there, get something to drink, and do it again tomorrow. This throat chakra meditation technique from sunsigns.org is wonderful for both opening and realigning the throat chakra. It will also make the practitioner more confident in their own voice, even if they don't realize it. The throat chakra governs basically everything between people, and that's why it's so important to care for it. Please like and share this video. Check out the description below for more info. Click below to subscribe for latest updates and for more interesting videos. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comment section.